Hey guys, I've been asked to make another video on the um, the um, brake light switch for the Ninja 300 because I was a bit I was a bit quick the first time I did it. Essentially, what you need to do is when you buy the switch from eBay, you'll find that there's um, the cable that comes off it is about 60 centimeters long, and um, there's two plugs that push in together. Um, you need to extend the first plug when it comes with um, uh, two pins you put some wires and stuff on there and extend the wires and what the wires come from here they run down along the um, um, follow the rest of the control cable and stuff they come down along the side of the bike and you can see they pop out down here near my finger and come up remove the seat and come up into the um, on top of the battery area it comes into a yellow wire, and I used I ran two two yellow wires down the front to the um, to the hazard light switch. Two yellow wires come back, okay. One yellow wire I put into um, this small diode junction. If I can kind of, here we go, okay. There's actually two diodes in here, okay. The wiring diagram is in the thread above there's a photo of it okay you get two diodes join them together at this end okay join one of the yellow wires join join the yellow wire and the yellow wire goes back to the switch okay so the diode splits into two okay we'll see if I can pull this out and show you the other side there it is okay yellow wire goes back to the um, to the switch comes near there's two diodes in here okay they've been um, this end is joined, this end they are separated, okay, join two white wires to them, okay, so inside it actually sort of looks like this, okay, um, these, imagine these are, are, are the diodes and they split at one end, okay, they're joined at one end and they split at the other, okay, so the white, white cable connects onto them, okay, so it splits and connects up to these little green, little green wires for the for the for the indicators in the back of the bike. And to plug those in, I've used one of these little fellas, it's a posi tap. Okay. Um, you need to unscrew, see if I can do this one handed. Unscrew the grey part. It's not gonna work. Let's see here we go. Okay, unscrew this grey part. See how it's got a little notch in there? Alright. Now what we do with the notch, see how it's got a notch straight through there? Alright. That notch goes over the wire. Okay. See where the, the green wire is? With this notch, you put this over the wire. Okay, so it's going to come into the wire like that. Okay, so this actually sits, the wire actually sits through that notch. Okay, once it's sitting through there, you take this end, see there's like a bit of a, see if you can see that properly or not, there's actually a, um, there's actually a pin sitting just at the end of that, inside that red connector, it's actually a pin. Okay, so what you do is you screw this back onto there. So then what happens is that pin pierces through the outside um, plastic sheath and the pin touches the wire on the inside. So that gives you your connection. Okay, into it. The other end has got a hole. And it... Oh, see, if I'm, see if I can do this. No, I can't. I'll this a little bit off camera a bit, please. Okay. So the whole thing unscrews like this. Okay, this end screws into that hole there. Okay, and what you do is there's a hole up the guts straight through there. Okay, so you feed this wire. Okay, you trim back some of this white sheath so you've got some exposed wire. Put it through here and then put it into there. Okay, and then screw it all back together. There's a, um, a link I found on the net that shows you how to put it all together. 
Okay, so that's one side of it. So you can see the other yellow wire in there. Okay, the other yellow wire is connected up to the other side of this switch. So the other yellow wire, you can see it, I've got running back across here. Here it is. Runs up along here. And it actually runs back up underneath the side of the bike. And it plugs into the, um, the wiring for the relay. Now when you look at the relay, um, uh, from memory it was a, um, an orange wire that it plugged into. Um, I'll have to just double check that in the in the thread um, just up from this post, but I'm pretty sure it's actually um, pretty sure it's actually orange that the thing actually screws into. Okay, so yeah, one side comes from the um, oh, I've had a memory blank. Comes from the um, the orange wire where the relay is. Okay, make sure you upgrade the relay. You're going to have to put in a decent relay. I use a Trident HD12 pack. It's a two pin, it's plug and play relay. Plug it straight in. Um, connect up the um, connect up the posi tap to there. Okay, connect it up to one end of the yellow wires. Okay, so that runs from there up along the side of the bike, goes up to the switch. And now, when it comes off the other side of the switch, come back out as another yellow wire. Well, it doesn't have to be yellow, you can use whatever colour you want. I decided to use yellow so I know which colours wires are used for the switch. And the other yellow wire comes back. The yellow wire comes back into the two diodes. You take the two diodes, take one end of the two diodes, join them together and solder them together and attach the yellow wire. Now, you have to be careful which way you wire up these diodes. There's a photo in the link above, and it shows you which way to connect them. Diodes have two ends. One end has got a little silver bar. From memory, the silver bar has to be closest to the end that goes to the green wire. Just double check that in the um, in the photo above, but I'm pretty sure that's how it worked for memory. Okay, so they actually split. As I said, imagine that my fingers are the diode, so they're joined one end like Danny, where my thumb is. Join them here, okay, and then they go out and they split. And then at the end, like where my fingers are, I imagine that's the other end of the diodes. That's where you solder the yellow, the, the white wires to. And the white wires split, and they come out and plug onto the green wires, and that's it. Okay, once that's done, and you turn the ignition on, you flick this switch, okay, and your hazard lights work. And then you flick that switch down, it breaks the connection, and the hazard lights stop working. And that's how it all works. Hope this helps. Cheers.